A uh, bumpy start, but we're looking to make strides in the right direction. Uh, we lost to a, a very good Pittsburgh team on opening night. Um, you know, down at their place, it was their second game, our first game. So we definitely struggled. I think the first game jitters played a part. And we won our first home game here against a good Westboro team. And then um, we lost uh, in overtime to uh, you know, Crosstown Rivals City, uh, City School North High um, in overtime. Tough game, but again, we're looking to make strides in the right direction continue to get better. Well, it started, started tough. We had a couple tough losses, and we're just looking to get better. Every day we're practicing hard. Everyone's improving. We uh, faced a tough loss against North and Fitchburg. You know, we lost the OT against North, but the year's only gonna get better. We got a long season ahead of us, and we're just improving every day. I see the season going pretty well for now, but you know, coach emphasizes on details, focus on the little things that can make or break you in the game. So we're just trying to get onto the details, you know, win some games. I've been playing basketball my entire life. Um, you know, I've come from a long family of basketball players. My uncle Bobby Boyd uh, played at UConn, you know, played at St. Peter's, uh, then went on to a you know, thousand point score at UConn. Uh, a lot of cousins, a lot of, um, you know, family members that have grown up playing basketball. So it's something I love and, you know, I have a, lot, a huge family uh, that still comes to the games and watches me coach and supports Burncoat, which is awesome. I started playing basketball around fourth, fifth grade up at Clark Street because they had a youth hoops. Then, you know, I stood, stood along the Branco area, got in. Luckily, um, Coach Connors came in to coach when I was in eighth grade, I think. You know, he talked to me then, and I've been in the program for a while. Senior year, looking to make a difference, get some wins. I've been playing basketball for five years for uh, Branco. Uh, I started as an eighth grader. Just the love of the game, you know, it's really fun to be around my friends and uh, just a really good experience, you know. I'll have these friends forever, you know, I love it. I've always had a passion for basketball, so uh, I knew I wanted to get into coaching, and I was a JV coach up at Wachusett High School under Tom Gibbons, who was one of the best coaches around, uh, so I learned a lot from him for like seven years, and then a uh, Baron Coat position opened up, and you know, I rolled the dice and took the job.
the city is going to be extremely tough this year. This uh, inner high, you know, Darty's very talented. Uh, North High, who you know we lost to in overtime, is extremely talented, and so is South High. They play hard, very talented as well. So every game in the city is going to be extremely tough. But you know we're going to continue to work hard, and hopefully the boys can uh, you know bring it every single night. Every day we're getting better. We're going to look to make a run pretty soon. Getting a new offense in, working on defense. Teams, teams got something to look for. Every game, every practice, you got you just got cheated like it's the last. You never know, like God forbid, you could end up with an injury, but you just have to fight, grind it out. You won't have a chance like this again. Being a senior year here uh, has its good moments, you know. Sometimes it's sad that it's probably the last time I'm ever gonna play basketball, but at the same time, I wanna go off the bang, you know, go to WPI, you know, make it big. quality of my kids, you know, they're all wonderful, wonderful boys. They um, are very polite, they're responsible, um, you know, and they're responsible in the sense and mature that they, you know, academics certainly comes first. We've had study halls all season and everybody comes, everybody does their work, gets, takes care of their stuff, uh, academic stuff first before they step on the court. And if they don't, then, you know, that becomes a problem, but I don't really have to worry about that with this team, this group. It's a great place to be. Um, it's a it's a wonderful neighborhood school. The faculty's great, and everybody's been since I've stepped foot in Burnco. Everybody's been extremely supportive. Um, you know, uh, what, you know, joining uh, the Burnco uh, games and you know the the crowds are crazy and it's a really good atmosphere. And I'm glad that a lot of our players get to experience, you know, playing high school basketball. And for all the for all the youngsters that are down, out there, come watch a high school basketball game in Worcester and see what it's all about, because I guarantee it'll give you that sense of urgency to play in the future and, and do everything you can to step on the court one day yourself. Being at Burnco gave me a sense of pride. You know, you learn to love it. Just the atmosphere, the fans, the coaches, players, just everyone that's involved is great. Just, you know, learn to build character. I mean, basketball isn't just like a sport, you know. It builds, it builds your character, like, in the game as well as out of the game, makes you a better person.
I love being here at Bernco. You know, it's a really cool place. You know, having Coach as our guidance counselor and our coach is like really, really cool because you know, we all see him as a dad in a way. You know, he helps us out a lot, not just in the basketball court, but outside of school too.